I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, Rasmussen's encephalitis. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 20-year-old male with uncontrolled seizures since childhood. On MRI, we see diffuse atrophy of the entire left cerebral hemisphere. It's associated with massive ex vacuo dilatation of the left lateral ventricle. We also see associated flare hyperintensities here in the left cerebral hemisphere. The patient has a long-standing history of generalized tonic-clonic convulsions since his childhood not controlled by anti-epileptics. Normal brain parenchyma was seen in a CT study done five years previously, whereas the current study shows gross hemispheric atrophy, both cerebral and cerebellar. A presumptive diagnosis of Rasmussen encephalitis has been made. The patient is currently on high-dose steroids and immunoglobulins. The radiographic differential diagnosis here is Dyke-Davidoff-Mason syndrome, Sturge-Weber syndrome, unilateral megalencephaly, and hemiconvulsion hemiplegia epilepsy syndrome.